Alright guys, what up, it's the Boogeyman here today, and I got a quick question for you guys before I start this commentary, is what type of commentary style would you prefer me to do? Would you like me to just be like more relaxed and mellow and just kind of let it flow and just talk about whatever I want to talk about, kind of like I'm doing right now? Or would you rather have me do like the ones where I get all spastic and I shout into the microphone and I whisper into the microphone sometimes and I get like really loud and I get really up close to it and I shout at the mic and I get really excited about everything? You know, what kind of commentaries would you prefer me to do? Let me know in the comments below. Because like sometimes I feel like I'm trying too hard, like it sounds like I am, but really I'm not, like that's actually my personality. See, I have like two faces to me. Sometimes I'm just really excited and spastic about everything, and sometimes I'm just like really chill and mellow, and I'm just like, I don't give a fuck today. No fucks given. So let me know what you prefer. But anyways, now on to the real topic. So this is kind of talking about some of my family members and some of the people that I know. And for whatever reason, they always think and they always make it seem like drug dealers and people involved with drugs and people that do drugs are just all around bad people. Which is completely not even true. Like, sitting at family get-togethers and stuff sometimes, like if the drug conversation ever comes up, I just sit there in silence and just laugh at the stuff they're saying because they literally have no clue what they're talking about at all. Like, the school I went to, a lot of people there were involved with drugs and were drug dealers or drug users or something like that. And they're not bad people at all. Most of them are actually really, really, really nice people. So I've learned a lot in that school over the years because of all this. So when I sit at these family get-togethers and I hear all my family members talking about people that do drugs and stuff like that, I just kind of laugh at it because it's like, you guys are so fucking wrong about everything that you are talking about. You are just so arrogant right now you have no clue what you're talking about like they literally talk like they're the scumbags of the earth like they're the biggest piece of shit people that you'll ever meet in your life which actually is in fact not even true at all a lot of the drug people in my school that i went to and a lot of the people i know in general that have done drugs are some of the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life. I don't know, I just don't understand why everybody just thinks drug dealers are the scum of the earth. You wanna know who is the scum of the earth in my school? You wanna know who were all the biggest piece of shits that you could ever imagine? All the preppy, nerdy sports jocks and the sports people and all the preppy school is the best people, you know, they were the cocky pieces of shit that you couldn't literally talk to or they just start bashing you and being a piece of shit to you. I mean, those are the people that were just awful people to be around and yet they would talk about them. Like sometimes when I came home, you know, because sometimes my parents would have the old don't do drugs conversation for whatever reason. I don't know why that came up, but sometimes they'd be like, just Hang around the, like all those sports jocks and all the people that are really involved in school, you know, hang around kids with a positive influence. I'm like, what the fuck? Positive influence? They're all assholes. I don't want to hang around them. Like, I'd rather hang around the druggies. I mean, I've had some really nice, cool conversations with some of these drug people. And not even conversations about drugs, just conversations in general, you know, just talking about random different stuff. Like, most of the people that I know that do drugs are some of the nicest people you will ever meet in your entire life. And some of the people that I know, that I, my parents know, that I've been friends with over the years, have done drugs before and have smoked marijuana. And my parents would never know that they've smoked marijuana unless I told them. And they're really nice people. And my parents actually like these people. And that's why I don't tell them that they smoke marijuana or that they have smoked marijuana before is because... They would literally think that they're the scum of the earth then. I don't know why people have it in their head that drug dealers are all just scummy, idiotic, arrogant assholes. Because most of them are really not. Like, in all reality, I'd rather be involved with drug dealers and drug addicts and people that do drugs. Because most of the ones I've met are really nice people. Like, I've snowboarded with them, skateboarded with them, went to school with them. And they're just really cool people to talk to. Had a lot of life experiences, a lot of stories to tell. They're just cool people to be around, I guess, and talk to all the football players and the preppy nerds, and they're like, fuck off, faggot. Ugh. So, whenever you meet a drug dealer, or whenever you see a drug dealer, or a drug user, I don't know why I keep saying drug dealer, but whenever you meet someone involved with drugs, don't think they're the scum of the earth. Go up to them and talk to them. Maybe they're really nice people, because in my school, they were all really nice people, and I wish I could go back and talk to some of them, 
just because they are really cool people to have a conversation with. But anyway guys, that is the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Let me know what style of commentary you prefer me to do again, whether it be the spastic ones or the more chill mellow ones like this. But anyways, that is the video. I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. This has been your boy AJ Oroclips. See you.